Hey everyone, welcome back to LearnWire. Today we're looking at Uware, a community where you can chat with AI to build web apps. They call it vibe coding. You can literally just describe what you want and it codes it for you. There's already a bunch of people using it. I think there's like 100,000 creators and they've made over 300,000 different projects. So what I wanna do today is check out some of the stuff that other people have built. There's some pretty cool AI apps in there. And then after that, we're going to try building something ourselves from scratch and see how it goes. If you wanna mess around with it yourself, there's a free version you can try. I'll put the link in the description. All right, let's see what people have been making. Take a look at the traffic, see what size of site this is. It looks like they have over a half a million monthly visitors. So if you guys have heard of Uware already, drop a comment below. I'd like to know visitors. They've probably been on other applications and launched and so forth. So they're already building their business. That's great to see. Essentially what this is, it's a, it's a, a vibe coding app or a no coding app. So we're gonna go take a look at some stuff like right over here, there's a poetry app, a black holes collision, some games, tattoo generator. There's all kinds of really cool stuff that you can create. Oh, this is cool. Dream my face, upload your face. Let's go check this one out. This will be a kind of crazy, possibly embarrassing, but let's do it. So I'll drop my face in. Let's see, I'll click on the button here. I'll go to my profile pics. And let's go grab this one. I already kind of look like a zombie right there. We can go old age, cyberpunk, Pixar character. Let's take it easy on myself and go with a Pixar character and see what that could look like. I guess let's go with cyberpunk. That's cool. A baby version, ghost, AI's dream, realistic painting and pixel art. Wow. Let's go with the 3D right there. I don't know what else to put. We could type some stuff in right over here and I'm just going to push go. This is actually creating it and I haven't even logged in yet. So I'm going to go and sign up for an account real quick. And so when you're using people's apps that they've created in the community, it will take some credits away. The AI app consumed credits from your balance during use. Got it. We'll go over and see what that credit system, but it looks like you can publish your app on the platform and people can utilize your application right on the platform, which is pretty cool. This will take a few more minutes. We'll be right back. Okay, cool. So let's look at what we've got created. Here's the 3D cartoon that was created from that picture. Here's the Pixar character right here. And then here is the cyberpunk photo. Really cool. And then here is the pixel art right there. Not too bad, not too embarrassing. That's actually pretty cool. So that's just the first tool that we used. We could download all the results. We could transform another image. We could share this tool with somebody else. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, if it took 40 credits or not, but we can go and take a look at some more stuff. So I'm on the pro account right now. It's $20 a month for a pro account for regular AI builders, 3000 credits a month. You can add more credits as you want and stair step up as much as you need, which is super cool. You can see how many credits you have right there and you get 500 credits free when you sign up. So I want to come up over here and I just want to see, like, I want to look at email marketing and see if there's any tools that have been built around email marketing. Email marketing made easy. Clarity track email marketing. Email marketing campaign tool. Look at all these email marketing, email rewriter tool right there. So that's cool. AI powered Reddit marketing specialist right there. There's some really cool stuff in here to check out. I'm gonna go over here and check out this first one. You can also see if there's any comments or anything like that. So you can see based on the views that it's getting as well. This one's more popular, this email writer, this Reddit marketing AI. You could be doing a little bit of market research right here. If you're into no code building, you can come in here and see what's interesting to people, the ones that are getting the most eyeballs and the most interaction and engagement might tell you what might be a good idea to create. But you can see that there's a ton of stuff in here, which is super cool. Here's an email rewriter. So let's just go and take a look at this. It says transform your emails with AI, improve clarity, tone, effectiveness, and intelligent writing. AI powered email writing is now powered by advanced AI for intelligent content transformation. Let's just go do this real quick. Okay, so for demonstration purposes, I've asked Claude to write a poorly written email. You can see that that's not capitalized right there. So about that meeting on Wednesday, yeah, I can probably make it, but may, it might be late though. It's not written professionally. So we're gonna try and see if we can rewrite this. You scroll down here and we can go friendly, concise, persuasive, empathetic, and confident. Maybe we wanna go with a confident right here and then rewrite email. And now it's gonna go out there and rewrite our email, hi, put your boss's name right there. I wanted to touch base about the meeting on Wednesday. I'm planning to attend, but I may be running a bit late due to commitments earlier that morning. I expect to arrive within 15 to 20 minutes after the start time. 
depending on traffic and other factors. Please let me know if that works for you. You can see that it's a massively improved email. You might want to go with professional as well. We have our email analysis right here, your clarity, your tone, your length, effectiveness. AI suggestions include clear next steps of action. One thing I want to look at is we can share this, click this full screen. That's what I really wanted to see. You can actually look at this from a full screen standpoint and have this app in full screen mode. We can clear this out right here, okay. And we can do this again. Now, I'm gonna investigate even further, but this might be a place where you host your app on Uware and then you actually share it publicly. I don't know how you get compensated when you create the tools here for the creators. I don't know how they get compensated. We'll probably look at that a little bit further. Further. But it's important to note that some of the things that you should know about this tool is that it does integrate with built-in MCP tools like Subabase, Figma, YouTube, Google Maps, and more. So you can actually incorporate those API keys to build your unique app, which is super cool. All creation is by chatting with AI, super easy, and then you can deploy with shareable URL by one click. So that part's right. You share your URL and it ends up being like a public app. This is like a back end. You can create projects and so forth, but okay. So here's how you do it. Get the VS code plugin or the cursor plugin right here. You can go live in one click right in your IDE. So you can deploy this, build the app, and then you send it out with all this information right here. So that's pretty cool. What this really does is get you community feedback, instant feedback. So we go over to all these apps that people are building. You can actually go and Here's a Chinese classical poetry landscape painting. You can come over here and people use your app. And they give you feedback and use the app right there. And then you can actually deploy it as well. So that's how that works. Okay. Let's go and create something. I'm going to push the create button right here. We can upload a drag and drop your creation. It can be HTML. You can paste code in right here, or we can just use create, which is mostly what you'd be doing with the tool right here. We can also go with the plus button here and add files and so forth as well. So what I wanna do is go over to this site here, maybe click on something, dribble and take a look. I'm just gonna do a screenshot, right? So we're gonna take a screenshot of this right here, like that. I'm gonna capture that. And then maybe we'll just build an app that looks like this, okay? So what I wanna do is build an email writing app as well, a marketing email creation app. And you can see right here, the AI gives you suggestions on what you should put next in order to make the app even better. So it should allow users to drag and drop content blocks. What I'm gonna do is say something like, user will write or paste an idea they need the email on, usually promoting a product or service, you will write in the style of, here is more info on Russell, who is a top marketer in the world. I'm gonna paste some information in there, and then I'm gonna also go and grab a little bit more content as well. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to attach that image we just created and go to downloads. And there it is right there, so I'll push open and now that's attached right there. We can see it attached. I'm gonna say, make it look like the attached. And then we're gonna push the green button and it's gonna start building our app like you've seen other no code app creation softwares and we'll be right back. So you can see it at work right now. You can read your prompt, go back and see it. In this case, they're doing on the right hand side. We always see the chat on the left. I think cursor might be on the right natively as well, but most of them are on the left side. That's just something to get used to. I've been doing no coding in a lot of apps and I've always been on the left-hand side over here. Now you can see it doing everything, so it's working like other similar no-code tools that I've tested and used. It's telling you everything that it's deploying and creating right here, to-do list updated, HTML structure for email creation, style the application with CSS, implement JavaScript functionality for email generation, add Russell Brunson information and templates, and now it's tweaking code. You can see it's vibe coding for us right now. We'll be right back. Okay, so it just finished up, and honestly, that took about five minutes. When you're sitting here recording a video, testing out an app, and you're sitting here, it kind of seems like a long time. You, you gotta come back to, you know, and ground yourself. The five minutes that we we're waiting, look at all of the coding that it was able to accomplish right here. You can do these drop downs and see every step of the way what it deployed, and it's going to give you an update. So I've created a marketing email generator app that writes in Russell Brunson's persuasive style. The application allows users to enter their product or service 
idea in a simple form, a generate a marketing email written in Russell Brunson's distinct conversational and high energy style, which that's hundred percent, right? A copy the generated email to clipboard with a single click. The app features clean professional interface with intuitive controls, AI powered email generation using Gemini 2.5 Pro, one of my favorite large language models and the, 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 the latest model of them. We didn't have to put in any codes or APIs to do that because you already has all that built into the background, which is really cool. And then a custom system prompt that captures Russell Brunson's marketing style, loading indicators, responsive design, all functionalities working as requested. Now we can go and add more stuff. We can also do boosts right here. One thing I will say is that it didn't really bring out the design right here. We can maybe prompt it and see what we can get in a minute. Let's go and test out our app. Here's what it would look like on mobile. Very nice, crisp and clean. Impressive so far. Your email idea is right here. Let's just say I'm promoting a new AI writing tool called Ghost Writer. What it does is writes, we're gonna do something like that, right? So Ghost Rider, it writes long form fictional stories for Amazon KDPs. I'm not gonna tell it how long to make the email, we're just going to create the email and see what the system creates right away without giving it any further instruction. But then of course we can also give it more details and instructions and maybe say write five sentences. We can shape it the way that we want. We'll see this simple email writing tool. It put this in here about Russell Brunson. We don't have to have that in there if we don't want to, but maybe it gives you a little story of why you would want to write like him because he's extremely successful. He's worth a couple hundred million dollars, something like that. So <clears throat> it's a big deal. So of course, here's a compelling marketing email for Ghost Rider. Subject, this is cheating for Amazon for <laughs> KDP authors. That's already a great title. This might actually be really a great title if we just go and grab this text right here. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go to this place that I always go to, which is called send check it. And I test my emails right here. You can see that it wrote an email that is graded against 100,000 plus emails. This can help you stay out of the promotions box and also out of spam folders. So it wrote right out of the gates, first email, wrote a really impressive subject line that will most likely go into most people's inboxes. Hey, Russell Brunson here. We also needed to say, hey, from me or something like that, right? Listen, can I ask you a question? Ever stare at a blank screen, the cursing, blinking, mocking you? You have this amazing idea for a novel, a thriller, or a romance. So it's writing in story mode like crazy. This is stuff you have to pay a copywriter to do. You can almost feel the five-star reviews rolling in. That dream of passive income, published author right here. But then reality hits, writing a 60,000-word novel takes forever, months, sometimes years. Who has that kind of time? You could hire a ghostwriter, but the good ones cost thousands. Okay, so I'm, it didn't really finish the email. Not really sure why it didn't. We can go copy the clipboard as well. Just gonna go and you can actually paste it there, but I'm just not seeing the rest of the email. So that's something that we would probably want to look at. I'd come over here and I'd say the email is good, but don't use symbols like this in the email. The email was also not concluded. And I'm just gonna go ahead and vibe code that. We'll make an adjustment. And you can see that it's gonna make these updates, right? Like you would expect update system, a prompt to avoid symbols and focusing on storytelling, ensure emails include a clear conclusion and call to action. Okay, cool, so I'm gonna go test it out again. We're gonna paste that in and we'll create the email again. And then this is where you would wanna do fine tuning, where you'd wanna see how it's going to write. I did say from David right here. Even if it's not gonna to get to the point, we can instruct it to, or we can also go in here and say things like a mandatory, it must have a call to action, or there's a drop down. the call to action must be required or selected in order to move forward. And then we can go over here. Right here, you can see, so we're kinda of getting a little bit of trouble. Of course, here's a compelling marketing email subject right here. I don't know if this is credits or what, but that part right there is being cut off. I'd have to play around with this. It's not quite doing what we would like it to do. I'm trying to zoom, scroll down and it's not writing the full email. I just built this in about three to four minutes. It built a landing page that looks like this. It's for a software as a service program, Taskflow Pro. It was able to build this landing page for us, kind of a 3D hover over effect right there. We have a C demo, start free trial. This is what it would look like on mobile. 
and we can scroll and look at what we've got here. A pretty nice, simple landing page. There's the pricing area and so forth. You can build full apps, landing pages, pretty much however creative you want to be. Uware can probably do that for you. What separates them is they've made this unique community type of way to create apps that you can get people looking at your apps. You can get interest in everything. You can get feedback on your app as well. And then when you're ready, you can deploy it as well. I think Uware was a pretty solid tool. I couldn't quite get the simple email tool working exactly the way that I wanted to. It's a little confusing to figure out, am I supposed to build an app and put it in the community? Or am I trying to build an app to export it? You can get a little bit lost in here, at least from my standpoint. All in all, I think this is a nice four-star rated tool, very solid. They've got a nice business going here, worth looking at. I would go and sign up and check it out for yourself and see what you can build. You can start your free account with the first link below. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.